Good morning, everybody. It's Dave, and there's Bo, just kicking back on the cement on a beautiful Sunday morning. Much different than last Sunday with the hurricane, but of course today is in the high 90s, and tomorrow and the next day are supposed to be around 100. So the front yard overall is looking pretty good. We've all survived the storm. A couple things I'm planning to do out here is of course finish pruning that ficus tree. Want to make sure that top is level before too long. Uh, the camellia, you can't really prune camellias back this time of year. Uh, I do want to thin it out just a little bit. Uh, maybe raise some of the lower branches and then of course prune back the Fortnite lilies. Uh, but that large shrub on the back side of the tree, uh, that needs to be uh, cut down so there's a little bit more visual access to the house. So I'm going to start working on that project this week. And as a reminder, when you have your trees pruned, make sure you're here. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes, um, you know, you tell the people what, how you want the tree pruned and then they come in and they do it a totally different way. Uh, we were lucky enough to get about two to three inches of rain and that really helped soak in everything, especially for areas that hadn't been watered in quite a while. Uh, look at that beautiful David Austin rose, a uh, totally off bloom. You normally will get some blooms um, during the fall, but this is a little bit early for that. And even Bo agrees. Everything else is looking pretty good. So let's head over into the backyard now. And one thing I do also want to do this winter as I'm starting to get my projects together, is you can see the garage door is kind of that darker color there. Uh, I want to paint uh, the fence that dark color as well, kind of just to carry the color uh, throughout the different parts of the yard. Uh, in the backyard, you know, the one bad thing about all that water is that the weeds got watered too and with as humid as everything was oh man did the weeds take off uh, the magnolia still looking really really good especially for the last week of august uh, the society garlic uh, is a plant that's always in bloom I, I never really talk about these per se because uh, they're always here and they're not my favorite to be honest with you but for low maintenance plants you can't beat them. You're never gonna kill them. Uh, you're gonna cut them back once a year and I'll do a video on that later in the winter. But uh, it'll bloom pretty much nine, 10 months out of the year. Can take dry conditions, can take wet conditions. And also look at that kufia. This is false heather. It's like it's gigantic. It's about twice, three times the size that they normally get. And here's Bo again. All right, um, lemon tree, looking really good. No lemons though. And remember when I said to start doing things early in the month, like pruning irises, you'll notice that we're gonna be in September in a couple days and the irises still aren't pruned. I will tell you, days just get away so quickly but everything is lush, it's green. Knock on wood, we are at the end of the summer, so we can still have some hot days here. In fact, usually our hottest days are in September uh, here, but uh, we're heading into some, after this next little heat wave, we're heading into some cooler weather. So it's nice that fall is just on the horizon. Again, some more off blooms uh, for the foxglove and I've been really, really happy with how this tree has grown this year. Again, it was a fairly mature tree in the container, so I got a really good deal on it. But I mean, you're looking at, you know, it's up to the roof line already on a first year planting, so you can't complain about that at all. Uh, those were the bearded iris I cut back, but there is a lot to do, to do still. 
uh, crabgrass is going to seed, so I better get that out of there pretty quick. Uh, everything else is very full, so the garden did fill out really well this year. Take a look at that rose there as well. Really beautiful. Uh, the dahlia is pretty much done. You can still see the white scaviola, loving the heat. No blooms on the Peruvian daffodil, but I did over here. See that beautiful bloom on that delphinium. We've also got the fern leaf, Hinoki cypress. And I think that is like a variegated butterball cypress, chamacypress. Have to double check the tag on that. So things are looking good. And this part of the garden is now getting much more shade because of the lower angle of the sun. So I'm really happy that the dogwood tree made it through its first year being planted. I may end up moving it a little bit further away from the uh, ligustrum, but I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, I still have the Japanese maple and clivia covered just for probably another few days after this heat wave, I'll remove it. Chianthus tree looking really good. I'm glad we got that all that rain because that really helped soak it in. I need to prune the ivy on the back walls there. We're getting some more blooms on the gara. But it's kind of like that, you know, position of summer where it's like do I prune back? Do I start doing a lot of yard work? It's still too warm. It's too early for the fall stuff, but you can tell fall is just around the corner. Definitely can't wait to prune that lavender back. And I can't wait to show you this plant back here. This is a dwarf Eugenia that's really taken off. Uh, when I planted it, it was a foot and a half tall. That was two years ago. And that's about full size for it right there is six feet. So just underneath the window. And now I'll prune the edges of it and make it like a real thick columnar shrub. Another society garlic there, the diosma, and the other side of the magnolia. So just a quick walk around the gardens today and I hope you all have a good week.